Tonight is January the 14th, 2014. I made a video the other day, <clears throat> excuse me, about this breakout box, as I'm calling it, and I did a really poor job of it. But uh, thanks to a uh, question on YouTube from George about this box, I said, you know what? I got to do it right. Okay. Uh, what I did in the beginning, because one night I was in a hurry and I was lazy and whatever, I just put, I just simply put one, a one mega ohm resistor from the bus to these two ports. Let me show you what's inside. See, it's just ultra simple. They're all tied together. They're all strapped together, except for these two right here. Now, what I had in there was just simply a one mega ohm resistor here and a one mega ohm resistor here. Well, that did not give me a true output here. So what I have added per thinking through, this is a Tektronix uh, oscilloscope probe, a attenuation circuit 10 to 1 and compensation capacitors. So I knew this is the way it was supposed to be done, but I was lazy. Anyway, so I did it right tonight and I want to show you, it's, it's really quite easy. I left the same one mega ohm resistors in here. Now they use a 9.9 .9 meg. I don't have any of those and 100k. So I just left mine at 1 meg and 100k. And I had to add this capacitor. Uh, yes, these trimmer capacitors right here. And they're actually across the 1 mega ohm resistor. They're, they're actually going to be this capacitor right here. I didn't need this one. All of the stray capacitance and inductance, all the reactants in there that I cannot compensate for, I can compensate for with these two little capacitors. They are 3 to 12. This one's a 3 to 12 picofarad. This one's a uh, 3 to 13 picofarad. Same thing. It's just that I didn't have two exactly alike. In this one, I had to add a, uh, there's a 0 .001 little black capacitor down there, if you can see it. And then this is a 1500 picofarad variable. That's the compensation capacitor here. And I'm going to show you that they actually work. Except in this case, being a low impedance load, I had to add it across the output. See the 10, nope, which one did I add it across? I'm sorry. Yes, I added it across the input. The input right here. Verb. Variable R output. I added across the output. I remembered the two were different. I'll get it right in a minute. So in this case, being a low impedance variable attenuator, I added this capacitor. And actually quite large, like a point somewhere between a point zero zero one and a point zero zero two five. Because I've got a point zero zero one in here fixed. That's that little black guy down there at the bottom, if you can see it. And then this variable is a, is a 1500. So this capacitor right here is what I added in this case on the variable output side to compensate for it. And in this case, with the one mega ohm 10X fixed, I had to add the capacitor, this capacitor right here and make it variable across this resistor, which in my case I'm using a 1 meg instead of a 9.9 .9 meg. So let's see how they perform. Okay, in the case of 1 to 1, what I'm using is the um, calibration output of uh, the 7904 scope. Whoops, it's going in to the little breakout box and wired 1 to 1. So you can see the in and out, one to one, straight wire across it, and it's going into uh, this oscilloscope, and there it is, nice and square, nice square corners. Okay, now let's see if I can do this. With one hand, I'm going to move it over to the 10x. We'll see how I attenuated it. I mean, it's way down. There it is now. Here it is. That's attenuated. This is unattenuated. I don't know if it's exactly 10 to 1, and I don't really care. I just needed some nice attenuation. Okay, now I'm going to amplify this thing back up. See how it's nice and still square? 
well, if I tune, adjust, however you want to call it, this little capacitor right here, watch what happens. All of you that know how to tweak your oscilloscopes know this. I mean, your oscilloscope probe. See, we've got a little bit of overshoot there, a little bit of undershoot there. So we adjust it to where it's right there. And it works. And if I move it over to the other one, it's the same thing. Except that one's got a lot of noise on it, doesn't it? What is that? Well, it's because my probes are falling off. Well, my probe came apart. Okay, let's fix that. Okay, with the probe back together. See, there's our output. Now to the second one. And if I adjust this trimmer right here, we get the same thing. So, what I have done to compensate for this uh, divider network is simply add a 313 picofarad right here. And I used a 1 meg and a 100k. I didn't need this one. I guess I've got enough stray capacitance in there that it, everything's fine. So that worked in the breakout box. Now, uh, the other day, I was showing you how it was the output of this was untrue these two attenuated outputs were untrue uh, as compared to the one-to-ones when we were looking at a clipping signal coming out of this amplifier well I'm gonna hook that up and we're gonna look at that again and make sure that that's corrected too in a real-world situation I mean adjusting it for a square wave is the real-world situation but let's do it again just to Make sure that we uh, have really fixed what uh, we what, what was unfixed the other day. Okay, now just like the other night in that video, I'm driving this amplifier really hard into clipping, and there's what it looks like one to one, no attenuation. As you can see here, this is the wire. This is the dummy load feeding the box. It's feeding everything 980 hertz. 14, uh, 20 volts, yeah. Clear, 19.008 special. There's its output, 53 watts. 981 hertz, 20.6 volts, etc. It's a spectral display and there it is. There's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna move it this one here to the attenuated outputs and of course there it is way down now we amplify the signal back up and there it is so we get a, a true picture again you can even see the tiniest little glitches over there so you've got to uh, you've got to compensate for your attenuation resistors otherwise you're just not going to get a true picture and what I showed you the other day was just too cheap and bogus. Uh, the same thing applies here. This is a this is simply a pot where the uh, 10k input. You, what what I use this for is an attenuator, a variable attenuator. And if you and, uh, if you put the signal across 10k, you can take the variable resistance output right here and put it at any level you want. Well, you get the same thing. You get an attenuated signal, but you don't get a true representation of uh, the input signal. Well, I corrected that by putting a compensation capacitor here, as George reminded me, and there it is inside. And it will do the same thing. You can see, and we'll, we'll test it just to make sure. Let me hook it up. Okay, now it's hooked up. The uh, output is going straight into here. And then its variable output is here, and there's our signal. Even has that little nuance right there, and I can, and it stays true to form. 
Without that compensating capacitor, it does not stay true to form. So there you go. Of course, if I turn it all the way up, it's going to... Uh, it's going to be all the way up. Okay, but anyway, it does work. But you got to... Uh, you can't just simply use resistors to divide it down. So uh, there you go. This one right here is. Uh, I'm gonna draw you a schematic of it. So in the case, well, let me go back here. So in the case of the, um, in my case, I used a one meg and a 100K. And I added, I did not need this one. I did need this one and I added a three to 13 picofarad right there. And I did not need this one. And I was able to compensate for it. That worked. Now this one right here is, is, is simply this. The signal comes in and goes across. This is in right here here and here and out here and here and what I had to add to compensate for that is a fixed capacitor of 0 .001 and then I added a variable capacitor of a um, 1500 picofarads so somewhere between 0 0.001 and 0 0.0025 I was able to compensate for this. It may not be perfect but it's a heck of a lot better than, uh, than not compensating for it at all. So I hope this helps and uh, improves on the video I made the other day.